guys you welcome back to my channel if you see me for the first time my name is Vera Obieche Mrs. and today I'm in Coppell I want to show you something that is going to inspire you something that is going to break those jinx the fear that you've always had about starting up your business going to school or whatever it is you're trying to do with your life today I hope that this video inspires you and I hope that it breaks those fears so follow me to Betty's that hair and beauty salon this lady is a Nigerian, she's a mom of two, she's grinding, and a little birdie told me she has other side hustles. So I'll take you guys in and, you know, we'll hear from the horse's mouth. Come with me. Hey, yeah, yo. Suite number 149, Bethesda Hair and Beauty Salon. I am so excited. That's her phone number. You might need it. You just never know. Yeah, this is Charity. Hello, Miss Charity. How are you? Nice oh my god, this is a beautiful <laughs> place. I can't wait. Let me see what you have. Welcome okay. to the world. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You have beautiful hairs for the ladies. This is really inspiring, trust me. This is a beautiful space. I love it. And you sell designer purses too? Absolutely. Oh wow. Mm. She has this designer purses. These handbags are beautiful. I'm definitely going to be getting this belt. Yeah, before I leave, I need to get this Valentino belt. I've always <laughs> been wanting to get it. I think this is an opportunity. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. This is something. Okay, guys. I'm just going to sit down with the owner of the... Say hi. Say hi to your viewers. Hi. <laughs> so, guys, I need to have a sit-down video with her. She's going to tell us everything about herself. What inspired her to start this business and, you know, how long she's been in it. And like I said, a little tiny birdie told me she has other side hustles. So stay tuned. Get your glass of wine. Hey, yeah, yo, uh, special babe. All right, guys. So I'm nicely seated in this beautiful salon. With the owner of the salon, Miss Charity. Okay. <laughs> so you have a beautiful place. How long have you been here? Oh, thank you, sir. Um, just um, January 2021. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So this is a new baby. But how long have you been in business? Because trust me, this doesn't look like you know something you just started today. <laughs> I've, been, I've been in business for more than ten years. I was more saying. than ten years. Yeah. So um. My business location with uh, I was at um, Richardson okay. for seven good years and um, I just recently um, opened up this place. This is this is nice. Yeah. Even the you know the ambience is clean, it's beautiful yeah. and you have <laughs> a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going yeah. on here. Still more. Uh, yeah, I must really say you're doing something very yeah very beautiful very interesting and very you know it's what's emulating so um let's let's just know about you are you a, you know your mom of course i know you're a mom of two beautiful kids yeah. you know so tell us more tell us what we don't know about you tell me what i don't know about you <laughs> okay so um i'm a high school teacher math i heard that yeah. a little bit told me she teaches math so you teach math in math high school in high school so okay math is my favorite subject. so what grade well you know what what, what are the age what's, what's the age of the kids you teach um they are about 16 15 16. guys teaching 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 teenagers, teaching teenagers mathematics yeah. trust me it was with some it's some fun. mathematician because <laughs> hmm. it's fun it takes a lot of patience okay and um if you don't have patience you can be a teacher. <laughs> so aside, you know, being a hairstylist, she's also a teacher. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How long have you been teaching? Um, I've been, I started off as a substitute teacher. Okay. For more than five years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I, so for being a teacher, mm -hmm. 
it's about um, getting into three years now. So for eight years you've been in the system. I've been basically. in the system basically. Uh, yeah. Eight years ago, <laughs> I haven't found my faith. Eight years ago, I was still in college in Nigeria. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! So, what inspired you? Of course, you went to school, you know, to become a teacher. But what inspired this? You know, how did you start? Actually, I went to school. Um, not, I didn't study to be a teacher. Okay. You know, my degree was in um, interdisciplinary social sciences, which is aspect of uh, social work. Okay. Um, graduated from uh, Central Washington University. Okay, 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 I must applaud you for yeah. that. Let me get comfortable. <laughs> Class of 2012. Okay, yeah, so and um, as I was, um, you know, I would life happens, things happen, yeah, so, true, people evolve, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, I was, um, I didn't the situations when I when we moved from. Seattle, Washington State to Dallas and coming down to Dallas, Texas was some kind of challenges and all that stuff and being new and all that. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, to get myself going, I had to like um, get into whatever, you know? So I went and... That's the spirit yeah. of a hustler. <laughs> Trust me, I always <laughs> say this. I think that um, entrepreneurs, you know, people who are hustlers, Entrepreneurs are born, yeah. like, you know, they are born to be entrepreneurs. I mean, you can learn to become an entrepreneur later mm -hmm. on in life, but since somebody who, you know, her foundation was, you know, she went to college, she studied for a particular course, yeah. but she relocated to Dallas, Texas, and she was able, before she could found, uh, find her feet, she was able to maneuver, yeah. get something going right. for herself. She didn't wait, you know, to say, oh, to, of course she had all the excuses to give, I'm new here, you know, I can't start anything because I'm new, I'm still trying to get a job. No, she jumped into I it, jumped into straight, it. Up. <laughs> straight up. I went, I said, okay, so, um, hair is something that I kind of um, play with. It's okay. a hobby, um, right from back in Nigeria, okay. you know, I kind of play with hair, you know. Mm -hmm. So, when I found myself in, when I got married, I was married to my ex, Okay. so I, when I came to the United States, mm -hmm. I remember my um, braids, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I started playing with my braids, you know, doing my hair myself and all that stuff. I would braid my hair to school and people would like it. You were braiding your hair by yourself? By myself. Okay. So when I get to school, my it's, classmates would ask me, oh, where did you get your hair done? I did it's it beautiful. myself. So I did it myself. Oh, they were, so I began to do hair at home, you know. Mm -hmm. So. So when, when I found myself here in Dallas and uh, I couldn't get a job because for one reason, I, reasons. Reasons. I don't reasons. know how it is. I, yeah, I, I you have to really prove, prove yourself prove, before. Prove myself. Mm -hmm. Also, know the area, yes. what you know, mm -hmm. and all that. Know stuff. how it works here and works. get to know who knows who Absolute, and stuff like that. Absolutely. <laughs> so I said, okay, why don't I just um, get into doing hair? Yeah. So I I got I that was how I got my shop in Richardson, okay. Texas, and um, started off. At that place. So was the shop just like this one? Like you were doing here, you were selling designer courses and oh, all no, that. I, no, 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 not quite. Okay, of course this is an upgraded. This is, this is upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Tell me, this, this is, is an upgraded, upgraded version. Upgraded. Yeah. But for one thing, I kind of am. Um, I am so thankful to God because in that place where I was, where I started off. Mm -hmm. my business mm -hmm. kind of gave me a lot of experiences and exposures yes kind of educated me I, I a place where i would forever remember and yeah be thankful the to bible said we should not forget the days of our humble our beginning mm -hmm. yeah absolutely so mm -hmm. god is so wonderful because i was so blessed that place and uh, god has really blessed me in uh, with people mm -hmm. people that I would, I would, I consider like family, mm -hmm. right Putting now. the right people in your life. In my life. Yeah, I have same experience. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I can relate. Okay, so if uh, there's something uh, Bethesda Hair Salon does, there's something Miss Charity <laughs> does with her business. A situation whereby you don't have to travel, travel from wherever you are to her salon. She can bring the salon to you. Yeah. Ask me how. So she does home services. I remember like a couple of times she's been to my house where she really took care of my hair 
you know, with the weaves that we wear now, a lot of people are neglecting their natural mm -hmm. hair. We shouldn't neglect our natural and if you've seen my natural hair is really long yeah i need to you need to come around uh -huh, yeah maybe sometime next week yeah to get my hair washed so she takes care of the hair and she has a way to treat it so let me insert the review from a client this is more than a review this is also like i'll call this a testimonial this is a testimony from a client we'll be right back life testimony from a client a client who is satisfied we had job you see what the lady said she said she doesn't know what miss charity put in her hands you know but her hair her hairline that was almost damaged was brought back to life yes i believe when it comes to hair natural hair some of us are gifted for for it because mm -hmm. some people take care of your hair but you know you just it's not flourishing but some other people will touch your hair and trust me you will stop having hair loss they know the right chemicals let me not say chemicals they know the uh, right natural products to put on the hair for it to grow you know well mm -hmm. and also miss charity has um she does she has like a look what do you have tell us i don't really know what it is tell uh, us more about that are you talking about the coconut oil yes yes the coconut oil okay mm -hmm. so the coconut oil is something that um what got me inspired is you know growing up from you know Nigeria, mm -hmm. motherland, the motherland. Yeah, my motherland. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my mom, you know, would um, use the coconut oil, you know, extract the for coconut everything. oil for everything, <laughs> for From baby, cooking, for, for to cooking, the skin, for to the hair, hair for the mm -hmm. hair, and all that stuff. And you know, so that kind of I I began to study hair, and um, for one thing. I discovered from my experience so far with clients. with clients is that because of the nature of how we find ourselves here, everybody mm -hmm. is busy, life, you know, mm -hmm. trying to catch up with things, yeah. work, crazy and all that schedule, stuff, yeah. uh, these nurses and all that, mm -hmm. you know, crazy schedule, mm -hmm. like you rightly put it. They uh, thank God for week. Yeah, I love week. I thank God for it. People neglect yeah. their natural but hair. People <laughs> neglect their natural hair. So <laughs> that that kind of inspired me, motivated me into oh God, I need to do something. Mm -hmm. You need and to come to our I need rescue. To come to your rescue. <laughs> and for before I put it out there, before I advertise something or before mm -hmm. I introduce something publicly, mm -hmm. I must have used it myself. For yourself. myself. Okay, myself. Makes sense. I get mm -hmm. the results before I I can confidently tell you that the, and that is what mm. happened and that's how I came about um that's how the my coconut oil my best selling product yeah you know was born mm -hmm. and also what inspired you you know what is the idea what is the brain behind you know you being able to start up that kind of salon where you can go to uh, people's you know she can go she goes to like home health home care if you have your older mom or grandma in the nursing home and you really want them to be pampered you can you know just pay her she goes there she takes the salon to your mom she takes the salon to you in your house in your wherever you are just this busy life busy schedule that is not an excuse for you not to get your hair done that is not an excuse for you to neglect your natural hair okay so she goes there and she takes care of it so she does the natural hair care and she can do your sewings from there she can take your weeks you know take weeks to you whatever it is that you want from her you just yeah you have one call you have one call one away, away. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so what inspired me yes is, you know um when i do hair when i get these clients coming yeah i often hear them say oh because of time they got this mm -hmm. that, that even they have their teenage girls yeah that they couldn't have time to bring to the salon yes, and all that yes. stuff mm -hmm. then uh, like i so much believe in the word of god yeah it's a, the word of god the bible says yet a man who is diligent in his work see yet a man so 
I stay up True. praying and asking God the way because I believe it is God that gives us Direction. the power to get mm -hmm. wealth. Yes. Then this, I got this uh, impression and uh, I believe it's from God mm -hmm. and, uh, to introduce this. And I, I, I began to offer that services. Yeah, that, so uh, how has it been working? It's been, I will tell you that about 70% of my clients. I was going to ask my percentage clients, because numbers yeah, don't lie. 70% <laughs> of my clients, in fact, if not, they, they, like they, the they are increasing right yeah. now because of the pandemic right now. Mm. My clients are like I know because yeah, yeah because this is my first time here, but you Absolutely. know, you always come even when my mom yeah. was around, my mom, you know, was around when I nearly had my baby. She stayed with me for many yeah. months. Miss Charlie would come, take care of her hair, yeah. get her hair done, braid her Absolutely. hair. Yeah, so you know, I know yeah. the home service is gonna work magic. Yeah, no so doubt about my that. My home service is remarkably very, very I would say uh it's it's increasing this, wow. this year alone thank god as a result of the pandemic you know mm -hmm. the my clients like call me and say okay i trust you i know yeah. that you're careful you're this mm -hmm. just come so and that's how it's been going it's been going okay and this is not you know i'm not trying to cut you off but i just don't want to forget something so the little birdie told me a lot of things so aside uh, you being a teacher aside you <laughs> having this hair salon what are your other hustles? What oh do you do all together? How many? You we need to know because <laughs> you just never know who you are inspiring out yeah, there. Man. Mm -hmm. Um, I said as long as you know, I've I will also go back to where I am coming from, yeah. Nigeria. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, um, I grew up hard working. Yeah, you know, I had just like our mothers. Absolutely, mm -hmm. they did it all. You know, um, then I found myself here. Where there's so more much, opportunities, so much opportunity. Every yes. opportunity. Yeah, man. Bible tells me that I can do all things. True Christ that strengthens you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm into transportation. Yes, mm -hmm. sort of lift, man. I drive anywhere. In fact, I have big. Uh, also, I know my I. I feel I also pray to God and ask God for mercy, for healing, mm -hmm. for comfort, for direction. for direction and all that stuff. During this pandemic, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, you know, you don't trust, you don't know who is who and who you're yeah. getting into yeah. and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, but I have, I have my own transportation. You have everything. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's why I always lay emphasis on, you know, deep multiple streams of income absolutely you can't overdo it don't let anybody no, bring no. you down don't let anybody talk you out of it I if there's know. something you're passionate about because i believe just like i said true entrepreneurs are born mm -hmm. if you're meant to do you know what you you should do god is going to bless absolutely. it and also i always say it also that you know some of us yeah are multi-talented some of us like my dad my dad is a white collar job kind of man mm -hmm. so my dad was in the banking system and he became a politician later on yeah. and that was it my mom was a teacher she headed the school she just retired about less than two years ago but while she was a teacher mm -hmm. she has always been an entrepreneur all her life and i think it's you know i got this entrepreneurship you know from my her. own gifts i think i got it from her because yeah. my mom has always been grinding, grinding you know that and that's just that's how i right. am i'm passionate about a lot of things i can't just sit down in one spot and with the pandemic you know our eyes are eyes. made open. open our eyes are open now to learn that we should have multiple, multiple streams of income. income my husband is in the health uh, field but he also, you know, I'm trying to yes. talk him into, and he also, he himself also is trying to venture into other Different things as well because multiple stream of income. Trust me, I need to see your bank statement because oh you need to let us know. <laughs> you need, you know, let us know. You see, you see, yeah, so, when it comes to money, people when will laugh. To money. When it comes to money, people will laugh. They don't yeah. want to share. So I, 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 I thank God for that. So at least you're comfortable. I am comfortable. And you're I, taking care of your kids. Yeah, being a single mom. Yeah. I don't know how, how I do, do it. it. I don't know how That's... I do it. Like my teachers, my uh, my director will say. Mm -hmm. uh, she will say, "Hey, Charity." I know you are a superwoman. Yes. Tell me, how do you survive? Because how do you do it? Some moments just sit down and complain about Com the ex or baby daddy or oh, ex husband. No, no, no. That's what they do all day. No, no. I don't. I think it was only one time you mentioned to me. That I remember. Gonna... I remember. I. I mm. You know, I am. I am. I am hundred percent 
far better off when I was married to my ex and doing hundred better now more than hundred percent better, better now than now when you were married than when I was because married. you know what I guess the situation of the divorce kind of puts you on your toes uh, you have to take of, care of your kids you, you know don't what? want anybody to hand you, you know, know you don't what? want to just you don't want to be begging or you don't want anybody to be handing out to you all yeah, the time yeah absolutely mm -hmm. you know what the, uh, my ex told me he said look I've been a hindrance to you he told you that he told me that he said I know you I, I have no doubt that you're gonna make it and you're gonna take care of my children guys look at that so what, I, what I've realized a good man knows when he's married to a good woman Absolutely. yes a good man knows that means even though you guys are no, no longer together he still appreciates you and he knows your words. I don't care. Like he knows what you're capable of doing. I, I he might not care. have admitted it, yeah. you know, during the marriage. But Anybody that knows me knows that I am jack of uh, jack of all trades. Train. Yes, <laughs> I can. That's I don't have time. Like right now, <laughs> it takes. I don't know. I have to squeeze this time to. I know. To my, <laughs> likewise, uh, you still you know how to. <laughs> Yeah, because this is important. So we it's, just have to. Very we have to. Yeah, we have to as do as it. I'm done with mm -hmm. you, I have how many clients? I'm yeah, like, I, I know. Waiting, you know. I have dresses to have finish to, up. Yeah, <laughs> I have to travel. So, uh, so work is something I would say. I, if you want to punish me, <laughs> if you want to punish, take away everything, work. I know. That's why I hate snow because I can't. Yeah, buy. I hate yeah, winter. I'm not a winter girl because I'm a local girl. I like summer. I like fall. I like spring. But yeah. you see winter, the one where we get to wear our big jackets. Oh no. Yeah. I'm not so I am like. so busy. I thank God for. Uh, it's a for blessing. Everything. It's a yeah, blessing. It's a blessing. I am so thankful to God. It's a blessing. I'm not into competition with anybody. You know, anybody. you just stay in your no lane. Way. You do your thing. I, I, I do you make thing. your money. You don't have to make yeah. noise about it. I'm one thing I, I have always learned and we always learn and always keep increasing or trying to grow. Like camera yeah yeah trying to grow is to appreciate one another yeah true you know encourage one another true um appreciate your work yeah you just know? yeah just tell the viewers something how will you encourage a woman like yourself out there because forget the labels mm -hmm. forget married single they, no, 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 no. we are human beings you're a woman and there's a woman out there irrespective Absolutely. of their titles so what is your message for you know our my audience my our message viewers? for uh, to the audience mm -hmm. the viewers the ones the ones especially who are trying to you know get something start something on their own or get something going okay uh, first of all look at yourself in the mirror the best advice Regardless, mm -hmm. it's the advice you give to yourself. Yeah. Thousands and one people will give you advice, mm -hmm. but at the end, it still boils down to you. Yes. It's you that will make the decision. Yeah, because you are the one who's going to deal with it anyways. Anyways, mm -hmm. you know, at the end, it's still you. So you take the advice, you, you take, filter you the filter ones that are bad, you take the ones that are good. Yeah. Okay. Never you envy anybody. Never you go into competition. Just love yourself good enough to discover your interest, your own potential, your own potential, yes. and present it to God Almighty, and He will, he will, he will guide will you. you. Yeah, God will never disappoint you. Sure that He will never. Sure that. Sure that. So it was so nice. Be. You know, it's. Oh my God, this is the highlight of my yes. week. You know, me coming here, <laughs> have this sit down video with you, see your beautiful space and you sharing with our viewers, our audience, all that you've been doing, you know, you are a strong lady, I must tell you. I must, I must <laughs> give you some accolades. <laughs> I must applaud you. You are a strong woman yeah. and I want you to know that you are appreciated, Thank you are you. loved. Your kids are watching you. Absolutely. You know, this video is going to be on YouTube for for a lifetime <laughs> your kids will watch and say yes you know our mom did her part she yes. did her part but i know that even though they are still in how old are your kids like my daughter who mm -hmm. is um, 10 she will okay. be 11 in may okay who, i call her my uh, my um mentor oh, my cheerleader smart, i call her my cheerleader she will tell me mom it's okay you know you're a super mom mom yes mom don't worry you will you will enjoy mm -hmm. you know mom don't worry you will she always tell me, Mom, it's high time you treat yourself. Yeah. Like when I told her, like... Well, that's a good child. She's yes. not selfish. When I tell them, uh, if I'm at, if anything I want to do, mm -hmm. I tell them. I that's say, good. 
I said, I told, I called them, my son is 15. Oh, he's a big boy. He's no, big you boy. have a teenager. <laughs> yeah. So when I called, I said, hey, guys, um, I have um, this lady, my friend, and she has this um, channel where she wants me to come. I said, hey, mom, come on, oh, come on. Oh, you told about our channel? Yeah. I said, come on, mom. I said, I don't think so. Come on, mom. You got to do it. They're going to watch you, so I'm sure they'll be very proud I said, of okay. You. If you say so, I said, come on, mom, go do it. You know you can do that. Okay, so, so this place is new. What, you know, have you launched? Have you officially opened it? Because I got my studio sometime last year, but due to the pandemic, I've not been able to officially launch my space, even though we've already been making the coins from there, you know. <laughs> but I've not officially launched. But I'll be launching sometime. I'll, I don't want to spill it. I'll be launching sometime this year, but that's just for another day. So do you have plans of launching? Okay. Grand opening it's, and all it's, that. It's a grand opening. Okay. So my grand opening will be coming up in May. So what's the date? Around the 20 something. Oh. So it's coming up. So and um, hold on, guys. Do you know what that means? That means we're gonna be coming back. back. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be having some fun Absolutely. and doing some shopping. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. So, <laughs> so what are the plans for that day? You wanna give us a little bit of and tea, just, just a something. little bit of um, yeah. yeah what are we gonna be saying on that be day? You'll be seeing a lot of stuff. Um, men, you know, men shoes. Okay. Belts. Yeah. Wallets. Mm -hmm. Um, because um, that's a new um uh, brand or section. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So so men. when the women come in, they can just get something. For Absolutely. Their of course. Yeah. Because I do. I think my husband. Is not he's not a shopper just like many men mm -hmm. out there but i did a lot of shopping for him of course i know his shoe sizes is yeah so yeah. you know i go to so i go to a place and i see men's stuff i feel this is good my husband will like it it's cool i get it for him yeah so if you have men's uh, section mm -hmm. you know a little bit of men item yeah i think that will sell yeah it will that absolutely. will sell because women are natural from, shoppers absolutely and where do your products come from uh, for the men mm -hmm. 100% from Italy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so Italian wears Italian, for men. Yeah, okay. For men. Italian shoes. I'm and looking all forward to that day. Please yeah. keep me in the know. <laughs> you know, we have to be here, yeah, guys. We need to have fun. fun we are yeah, at the end of the day, we are all putting this life for one another. For one another. Trust me. Yeah. And when we're talking about women empowerment, empowerment. it's not just women empowerment by mouth. No, this no. is talk the talk and do the do. <laughs> yeah, action. This is action. Like, I left my like work. Going, she like, left her work, work and we are here talking about Absolute, her business. Absolutely. Yeah. So we need to, you know, we are here for one another. You know, we let we can all coexist. We can all uh, you know live in the same atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Make money. There is so much money in the society, in the community. Make money. No, you don't need to envy your neighbor. Mm -hmm. There is room for everybody. everybody. We are all beds. Let's yeah. all fly away. Like I always tell people. I said, look, the market is wide. The sky For is example, big enough. The, 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 the most common places anybody would mm -hmm. know in America is Walmart. When you I, go to Walmart, when you see one we have product, Walmart, but we have, different brands. We have Walmart, we have Kroger, Kroger, everything. You are even talking far. We have Burger King, Burger we King, have McDonald's. McDonald's so when you see them right, right across the road from yeah. each other, like facing each other, and they still make they're money. They still make money. Mm -hmm. There's so much stuff. money yeah. in the society. And so, if you're out there, you you know you have like a white collar job. If you're a nurse, you are a teacher, or whatever it is you are and you know that you are born to be an entrepreneur because some of us are just gifted you know yeah, naturally yeah. naturally some of us are gifted don't be scared if it's yeah. something you want to do step out of your comfort zone you're never going to have time for it unless you create it for yourself yes. my baby sister would tell me one day you wake up and you're already 80 years old you're 80 years old and you're saying what have i really done with my life even the job you did while you were young you, you there was no satisfaction from it so this is the time you know to step out of your comfort zone just start little you don't have to start from you know a big shop or a big plan start little and see how it goes there's so much opportunity so much, so much a, lot, a, lot, mm -hmm. a lot a lot of business a lot ideas. of business a lot of business yeah. if we don't stop Maybe. here we'll just we'll, we'll keep talking <laughs> So guys, thank you all for watching to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video and you want more content as such, kindly encourage me by subscribing, like and share. Share this video because a lot of women, you know, are just there in that point in their life where some of them have just recently lost their jobs or maybe they are new moms or maybe they just came to America or you don't even have to be in America or wherever, whatever country it is that you just got into and you're finding it difficult to start up something. You are scared. You feel like, oh, nobody knows me here. Who's going to patronize me? Now we have social media. Yes. 
do your product, do whatever it is, display them, post on your Facebook, post on your Instagram, post everywhere, post, put on your WhatsApp. Ask questions. But ask questions. You just never know. I have a client who once told me that Vera, the way you look and what you do, at this point, whatever you're selling, I'm going to be buying. <laughs> <laughs> With that statement, I knew I've made it in life. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching to the end of this video. Stay tuned for more. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye.